Today what I'm going to talk to you about is evergreen huckleberries. They grow along the coast and this is the time of year to harvest them. As you can see, the berries are really thick on the vine. And I'll show you how to quick harvest them and then I'll also show you how to clean them. Now, when you look for these evergreen huckleberries, the leaves are going to be alternating. If I get really close, the edges are going to be serrated and they'll have a rubbery, hard plasticky feel to the actual uh, leaf. The berries usually grow underneath and when they're really thick, well like up here, they're easier to harvest. So I'm going to show you a raking technique where I can harvest these pretty quick. I'm not going to harvest a bunch because I've already got a bunch. I just wanted a video on how to harvest them. So when you find when you find a <clears throat> pile of berries, some of them are old, some of them are new, you know, fresh ripened and some are sitting old. I put them over a bucket and I just rake really quickly, break into the milk jug. Of course, I take and repurpose milk jugs so I can do this. All right, so do that. Move the video and camera down a little bit. So I'm just quick dumping them into the bucket. Just like so. You can get a bunch in a hurry. Now some people, some people want to just pick some one at a time. That's time consuming and then you want to get the stems off. So people take the time to pick the stems off. I'm just showing you how to quick rake so you can take them home and clean them. And then I'll show you how to clean them. So... There we go. Alright. Let's hold it over the milk jug. Now the ripe ones will pop off. The not so ripe ones will stay on. These these will be ripe in January. You have basically three to four months to harvest these. When you get home, you can pick out the green ones that fell in the bucket. And the red ones, the tart ones, you can definitely do. So I already got a bunch in the bucket without even hardly working. That is all. I'll show you how to clean them at the end. Okay, now that I've got home with my berries, I didn't pick a bunch because I already have a bunch. It's time to show you how to clean them. First thing you want to do is get yourself a bowl of water. You want to take and dump the berries in. Set that aside and then you mix it around and what happens is a lot of the bad berries, the leaves, the pine needles will all come to the surface and then all you do is take and put them in a different bowl like so and I, and I don't worry about wasting too many of the ones that are still good, the ones that are floating. For the most part the good ones are all fall, have all fallen to the bottom if you want to pick out the the berries that are still good and put them back in you can but I'm going to show you a quick and simple way of doing this so after you get most of your pine needles and leaves you swirl around a couple more times wait until you see what floats to the top maybe a couple pine needles in there and some more of the green or red berries that are floating all right so we'll set that aside we'll take and get another bowl now this bowl here has a strainer and all we're just going to do is dump the berries into the strainer. Here's an earwig. Throw that out. You take and strain the berries. Get the water off. All right, now just dump them in this bowl for working. All right. Set that aside. Another earwig. Shove that over. Alright, so what I do to clean these berries. This is where it's simple. Notice how they have stems on them and there's, you know, some red berries and some stems on berries. Well, how I clean them is I just roll them around and around and around and around until the, bear, the stems fall off. And then I also feel them to see if there is any smushed berries that I'll get out of there or old berries and then I just keep doing that I rotate them 
make the stems pop off is what I'm doing and then I pick the bad berries out and at the end of the day it takes a little time to do this I'm just showing you how to do it quickly when you're all said and done though it's gonna turn out to be some good berries and my wife and I we picked three gallons of these so it was time consuming but we don't know if we want to be out in the rain doing this picking one at a time or if we want to you know get home and sit down at a chair and be able to clean them quicker that way so you decide what's quicker for you if you want to roll the berries around to pop the stems off or pick them by hand and I don't know it just seems like a slow process so this is a different way of doing it we plan on making evergreen huckleberry jam so due to a jar shortage canning supply shortage we're having to freeze these for now and we'll get to it here in uh, maybe a month that is all if you like any of my videos please smash the like or just subscribe and it'll go a long way in helping me with making more videos I am trying for 100 subscribers for 2021 and shooting for the moon in 2022.